Slide one. Welcome to Health Management Information Systems Clinical Decision Support Systems. This is Lecture A. The component Health Management Information Systems is a theory component that provides an introduction to healthcare applications and the systems that use them, health information technology standards, health-related data structures, and enterprise architecture in healthcare organizations. Lecture A will offer a definition of clinical decision support, provide some historical context surrounding clinical decision support, describe the requirements of a clinical decision support system, and discuss the relationship of clinical practice guidelines and evidence-based practice to clinical decision support systems. Slide 2. The objectives for this unit Clinical Decision Support Systems are to describe the history and evolution of clinical decision support, describe the fundamental requirements of effective clinical decision support systems, discuss how clinical practice guidelines and evidence-based practice affect clinical decision support systems. Slide 3. Additional objectives for this unit Clinical Decision Support Systems are to identify the challenges and barriers to building and using clinical decision support systems. Discuss legal and regulatory considerations related to the distribution of clinical decision support systems. And describe current initiatives that will impact the future and effectiveness of clinical decision support systems. Slide 4. Asheroff, Pfeiffer, and Teich, as cited in Das and Eichner, 2010, stated, quote, CDS provides clinicians, patients, or caregivers with clinical knowledge and patient-specific information to help them make decisions that enhance patient care, end quote. Das and Eichner, 2010, page 4. Das and Eichner, 2010, go on to explain, quote, the patient's information is matched to a clinical knowledge base and patient-specific assessments or recommendations are then communicated effectively at appropriate times during patient care." End quote. Page 4. Mohsen Shahar and Shortliff, 2006, define a clinical decision support system as, quote, any computer program designed to help healthcare professionals to make clinical decisions. End quote, page 700. Bottom line, when one hears CDS or CDSS, think of computer-assisted clinical decision-making. Slide 5. Computer-assisted clinical decision-making has been considered viable since the late 1950s, when initial publications appeared. Then, in the late 1960s, the Leeds Abdominal Pain System was created at the University of Leeds. The Leeds Abdominal Pain System was built based on, quote, computer-based decision aids using Bayesian probability theory, end quote, Moussin Shahar and Shortliff, 2006, page 702. While it is not possible to explain the theory in depth in this short course, it is important to know the theorem is based on rules of predictive probability. A clinical decision support system may use Bayesian logic in its inference engine. Slide 6. Other systems considered to be key in the evolution of clinical decision support systems are Mycin and HELP, both of which used rule-based approaches. According to HIMSS, a rule is a formal way of specifying a recommendation, directive, or strategy expressed as if premise then conclusion or if condition then action hymns dictionary 2010 page 105 mycin which uses a rules-based methodology is described by musin shahar and shortliff as an early exploration of methods for capturing and applying ill-structured expert knowledge to solve important medical problems page 705 HELP, an integrated clinical information system, has decision rules called HELP sectors encoded into it. Musin Shahar and Shortliff, 2006, page 705. Cooperman, Gardner, and Pryor, 
as cited in Musin, Shahar, and Shortliff, 2006, stated, quote, Help has the ability to generate alerts when abnormalities in the patient record are noted, and its impact on the development of the field has been immense, with applications and methodologies that span nearly the full range of activities in biomedical informatics. End quote. Page 705. In addition to Bayesian logic and rule-based approaches, the current clinical decision support systems may use other reasoning methodologies such as neural networks or combinations of several methods. Slide 7. Two Healthcare Information Technology Standards Panel HITSP groups convened a meeting with experts in the area of clinical decision support systems and one outcome was the image shown on this slide. As explained by Boone, 2006, in his blog, clinical decision support was, quote, viewed as a black box through which we have three different kinds of inputs and several different types of outputs. The three different inputs include algorithms, or knowledge about how to make inferences or assertions based on existing instance or world knowledge. Instance data, describing the specific case that is being addressed by the clinical decision support application. Ontological or world knowledge, representing facts about the world, such as what drugs interact badly, or how body parts are related, or the relationships between genes and diseases. End quote, paragraph 13. The output of information, actions, and alerts is characterized by symbols shown coming from the black box representing clinical decision support. This image of a model is representative of the components of clinical decision support. Slide 8. As the previous slide showed, a model of a clinical decision support involves certain inputs in order to arrive at an output. Berner, 2009, explains the system requirements in the following way. Quote, Common features of CDS systems that are designed to provide patient-specific guidance include the knowledge base, for example, compiled clinical information on diagnoses, drug interactions, and guidelines, a program for combining that knowledge with patient-specific information, and a communication mechanism, in other words, a way of entering patient data, or importing it from the EMR, into the CDS application and providing relevant information, for example, lists of possible diagnoses, drug interaction alerts, or preventive care reminders, back to the clinician, end quote, page 5. Each component provides a piece that is important for clinical decision support interventions to occur. For example, clinical decision support could provide suggestions for possible diagnoses, knowledge base, that match a patient's signs and symptoms, inference engine, and communicate this to the provider through a ranked list of diagnoses that might explain the patient's signs and symptoms, communication mechanism. Slide 9. The first system requirement is the knowledge base. A knowledge base is just what you would expect it to be, that is, an automated representation of clinical knowledge. Osheroff et al., 2006, defined clinical knowledge as, quote, a generally applicable fact or set of facts, best practice, guideline, logical rule, piece of reference information, such as a text article, or other element of information that is important to know for optimal data interpretation and decision making regarding individual and population health and healthcare delivery. End quote. Page 59. The knowledge base is a collection of clinical information on such things as diagnoses, drug interactions, and evidence based guidelines. Content for the knowledge base comes from internal as well as external sources, such as specialty societies commercial knowledge vendors, and healthcare organizations. Because of the amount of time and expertise it takes to create content, healthcare providers usually depend on developers of clinical information systems for the knowledge base who often will obtain and incorporate commercial knowledge bases into their CDS products. For example, a number of drug knowledge bases are available in the marketplace. 
Slide 10. The second system requirement is the inference engine. In a clinical decision support system, the inference engine combines the knowledge base with the patient's data. According to Spooner, 2007, quote, the inference engine is the portion of the CDSS that combines the input and other data according to some logical scheme for output. One such scheme for an inference engine is the Bayesian network. A Bayesian network is a way to put Bayes' rule to work by laying out graphically which events influence the likelihood of occurrence of other events. End quote, page 37. As mentioned previously, in addition to Bayesian logic, clinical decision support systems may use other reasoning methodologies such as rule-based approaches. Slide 11. The final system requirement is the communication mechanism. Berner, 2009, describes this component as a mechanism for entering patient data into the CDS application and providing relevant information back to the clinician. One method for input would be importing it from the electronic medical record. Some examples of information that might be output are lists of possible diagnoses, drug allergy alerts, duplicate testing reminder, drug interaction alerts, drug formulary guidelines, or preventive care reminders. One of the five rights in the CDS Five Rights model is communication occurs to the right person that is, consideration of all members of the care team, such as the clinician, patient, parent, or caregiver, nurse. Sira Judine, 2009, page 40. Slide 12. Given the components of a CDSS, what are some expectations of its use? Berner, 2009, provided examples shown in Table 5.1 of CDS interventions by target area of care. The first row in Table 5.1 states the target area of care as preventive care with intervention examples of immunization, screening, and disease management guidelines for secondary prevention. The second row lists diagnosis as the target area of care where clinical decision support could provide suggestions for possible diagnoses that match a patient's signs and symptoms. The third row on the list is the target area planning or implementing treatment. CDS intervention could entail the display treatment guidelines for specific diagnoses, drug dosage recommendations, or alerts for drug-to-drug -drug interactions. The fourth row, follow-up management, is the target area of care for clinical decision support. An intervention might involve information about corollary orders or reminders for drug adverse event monitoring. The fifth row states the target area of care as hospital or provider efficiency with care plans to minimize length of stay or the presentation of order sets as examples of CDS intervention. The sixth and final row is the target area cost reductions and improved patient convenience. Examples of CDS interventions include duplicate testing alerts and drug formulary guidelines. Thus, CDS interventions can assist healthcare providers at different stages in the care process, that is, from preventive care through diagnosis and treatment, all the way to monitoring and follow-up. Slide 13. Asheroff et al. 2006 describes CDS interventions as, quote, alerts, reminders, and order sets, as well as other techniques for knowledge delivery, including reference information and education delivered with or without context sensitivity, health clinical protocol, and workflow orchestration support, display of context relevant data, topic oriented documentation forms, and others, end quote page 59. Intervention types and examples as summarized by Asheroff 2009 are shown in Table 5.2. While typically several elements from these types are combined in the clinical decision support intervention, each of these intervention types will be examined independently in the next several slides. 
Drawing from Asheroff, Pfeiffer, Teich, Sittig, and Genders, 2005, AHRA provides an example of a combination of elements as, quote, an order set might highlight through a non-interruptive alert an essential intervention that should routinely be ordered and provide an info button link to more detailed reference information that supports the clinical recommendation, end quote. AHRQ, no date, paragraph 2. Slide 14. Each major CDS intervention type results in certain benefits and can be further broken down into subtypes. The benefits of the documentation forms templates intervention include the ability to, quote, provide complete documentation for care, quality, continuity, reimbursement, legal requirements, reduce omission errors by displaying items for selection, reduce commission errors by ensuring critical data such as allergies are captured, provide coded data for other data-driven CDS, provide prompts to acquire specific information in the format desired, end quote. Asheroff et al., 2005. Subtypes, along with examples as summarized by Asheroff et al., 2005, are shown in Table 5.3. Row 1 lists the subtype of patient self-assessment forms with the example of a pre-visit questionnaire that outlines health problems and current medications. The second row identifies the subtype of clinician-patient assessment forms and an inpatient assessment as its example. Clinician encounter documentation forms is the third subtype and a structured history and physician examination template is an example. The fourth row refers to departmental, multidisciplinary clinic. The fifth and